Hey, Jamarcus. How you doing, Mr. Carmen? Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, doing fantastic. Right. What, is it, what, what did it mean to have Jackson back on the field for your receiving group? You know what? Uh, Jackson's sort of like that lucky penny. You know, you're going to carry it around and or that, 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 that lucky blanket um, from my son. It's his Pluto um, or whatever it is for any child. Um, it's a, he's that, you know, you feel comfort with him when, when he's in the game. You know for sure he understands exactly what we're trying to accomplish with, with each and every play that's being called out there. But then, you know, just to have him be a part of it and be able to help some of the other guys at the same time, um, that's that's obviously um, something that's comforting for you know at least for sure me as a as a coach. How active was Jackson from the teaching mentoring department while he was out? Uh, constant. Um, he does a great job of it. You know, making sure the alignments are um, like we want them to be, uh, appropriate widths, um, appropriate uh, on and off the ball. He does a great job with it and communicating that to the other guys on the field, even. You know, with having guys like David Bell out there, I mean, he still is, is the leader and makes sure that he communicates with them thoroughly throughout the entire game. Uh, what do you want David Bell to take out of Saturday's game that he can apply moving forward? I think the number one thing we all talked about in the room and uh, I've kind of harped on with the guys is that we have to consistently make improvement. Um, every single day that we come out to the practice field, uh, it needs to be a day to improve. Uh, I told them that you're either getting better or you're getting worse. And, uh, you know, uh, even yesterday I used the analogy and I think it kind of resonated with the guys, you know, even as a father, um, I feel like either I'm getting better or I'm getting worse every single day. You never really stay the same. It doesn't ever stay the same. So, um, you know, yesterday I missed my son's basketball games. So I told them admittedly, hey, I, I got worse yesterday as a father. And so uh, I want them to be real about how they are looking at themselves and look in the mirror, you know, and for them to hear me say, I felt like I got worse as a father. Well, I think that resonated to them like, okay, all right, this man can admit that he didn't do as well or didn't do uh, some of the things that he felt like would have made him better. And uh, I want them to take that to the field as well. So obviously, in practice, I'm asking them after every rep, did you get better on that rep or did you get worse on that rep? And uh, hopefully that, that consistently sinks in with each and every one of them. <laughs> okay, uh, Tom? Yeah, Jamarcus, talk a little bit about Abdur Rahman Yassin. We, we got our first look at uh, the freshman on Saturday. Yes, um, very eager young man. Um, very strong in his convictions and who he is and uh, what he wants to portray to everyone that's around him. Um, very conscientious individual. Um, to see him get out there finally, I told him at halftime, hey, you know, I'm going to put you in probably the second series of the second half, so get your mind right, make sure you're loose and ready to rock and roll. Um, he was running fast. You know, he had been uh, dealing with some issues all through camp and whatnot, and it was nice to see him open up and run with tremendous speed, um, making great cuts, and um, you know, you know, wish we would have had the catch opportunity back and made the catch on the sideline. Um, yeah, like I told him, you know, this college football, you know, high school, he kind of ran around, did whatever he wanted to. Eighteen hundred yards later, and and this this is Big Ten football, so there's going to be a little bit of bumping, there's going to be a little bit of tugging, there's going to be a little bit of pulling. Um, that's 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 Division One college football. So I think that you know, having gotten a taste, you know, you know, we'll we'll find ways to get him in there more and sort of work him into the game plan as much as we can. How is Mershon Rice doing? He's doing great. Um, yeah, he uh, is finally starting to get on some special teams. Um, probably going to start on a couple uh, here soon. Um, he's doing a great job. Um, you know. He's, he's running around, catching good balls. He had a really good camp. He really did. Had a really good camp. Caught a lot of deep balls. Um, probably was one of our better deep ball catchers through the camp. So um, he's, he's doing just fine. Um, just It's going to take him some time to kind of get fully all the way acclimated to everything once again. But um, he's coming right along. Hey, last question. What about Marcellus Moore, Jamarcus? We heard so much about his speed 
I didn't know if maybe he was the guy that was going to maybe finally get on the field in some capacity. And there's a lot of guys to talk about in that room right now. So as far as the receiver room, I'm not certain as of right now whether or not he will make that transition uh, onto the field yet. Um, I know that he's uh, starting to, you know, get within the two deep on some of the special teams and so on and so forth. So um, I, at, at the end of the day, you guys have become so accustomed to these true freshmen coming in and uh, and just taking over right away. You know, but some of these other guys got to go before some of these other guys can take over. So, um, you know, we got a lot of guys. In the room. Thank you, Jamarcus. No problem. Hannah, do you have anything? I'm all set. Thanks. Okay. Dakota, do you have anything? Yeah, Coach, I just wanted to – Quickly, just reiterate, I know you mentioned a little bit about Jackson, but just how quickly he was able to get back and his dedication and, and commitment um, to your position group specifically, but just to this team in general being a, a leader, a, a veteran leader. Can you talk a little more about that? In my opinion, it's unparalleled. Um, the young man last year um, broke his foot um, on a – it was a Thursday practice, and, you know, we we – didn't think that he would uh, he would have any chance of playing. You know, Friday morning, um, get up and he's running on the indoor and and ended up playing in the game um, on the broken foot. And uh, so, uh, and that's what he wanted to do. I mean, uh, he felt comfortable with it and played the last two games on that broken foot. And then this year to have the injury that he sustained um, occur and for him to be back already. And not just back, but fully participating. I mean, fully cleared and, and ready to rock and roll. It's just a testament to um, – we all know how much Purdue University means to him. It, it just means so much to him and his family. And and so there, there's nothing else that he would rather be doing than being here with his teammates. And he was here constantly. He worked tirelessly to consistently go through rehab, take care of his body, do whatever the doctors and trainers told him to do. So um, just very proud of him and uh, got a lot of respect for for Jackson and the way he carries himself and the way he, he consistently fights for Purdue University. You kind of mentioned, you, you know, you, a lot of players never know when their, their last play might be, whether it's injury or they get beat out by somebody else. Are those guys kind of hard to find in your experience in coaching college football, just – the, the guys that have that mentality of, you know, I don't know when I'll be able to play football ever again, and they don't take anything for granted. Well, I think you, you remember being 18 years old, 19 years old, 20 years old, 21, and you thought you pretty much were invincible. You were a Superman. And so um, very rarely do they ever think it's ever going to end. And it is a consistent – conversation you have through the recruiting process you have the conversation at times with the guys in the meeting room um, you find ways to let them understand that every rep that they take they should be trying to go at it as hard as they can because you do not know when your last rep is going to occur and you know you, you just never think that when you're that age um, because you think that life is is going to go on forever and uh, you know the good thing about Jackson is you know, he had a taste of it. He never really sustained an injury such as he did last year. And for the first time, it really being taken away from him, he goes he, he goes hard. And he always went hard, but he goes over the, over the top um, to make sure that he puts in the effort during practice. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. No problem. Hey, uh, everybody.